Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright TypeScript series. In this video, we are going to talk about, about what are the different ways of doing a mouse click in Playwright. So what we will do, we will go to playwright.dev and then you simple search for mouse click on their official documentation. And there are various types of clicks already available here. Few clicks we have already seen that you just create a locator I mean, simple element and do a dot click. We can do double click, right click means context click. Also, we can do that shift click. Also, we can do on a specific link. For example, if I click uh, with the shift, it will open in a new window. Mouse over also, we can do that, that we have already seen in the last video with the menu and sub menu and click on the top left corner. It means on a specific position of the specific element that also on the basis of X and Y offset also we can give it over here right so today what i'll show you let's see double click context click shift click mouse over we have already seen that and normal click also we have already seen many times it's simple normal dot click here so i have this application and uh, this application also on guru 99 demo site we can just simple do a right click on it and you will see the menu item is displayed here when i do a double click on it double means double tap from the mouse see double tap if I do it, it's giving me the one pop-up here that you double click on this and thank you. When I do a normal single click, it's not giving me a pop-up. See, I'm clicking on it, but the moment I do a double click and then the pop-up is coming. So how can we perform a double click on the specific element also? We will see. And for example, let's say if you go to this application and I click on this uh, link with the shift. So press shift from the keyboard and click on it. So it's opening in a new window over here. You can see like this. So on a specific link, if you really want to click with the shift, that also we can do it here, right? So first I launch this application. This is, let's see, uh, this particular application. And then I try to do a double click on it. And remember in Playwright, the moment you do a double click, you don't need to switch to the JavaScript pop-up. Playwright will automatically take care of it. We do just like in Selenium, we have to write driver dot switch to dot alert and then accept the alert or dismiss the alert here in Playwright. We don't need to do it here. We just need to double click on it and Playwright will automatically take care of it. Okay. Now, so double click to me, uh, see alert. Let's inspect this particular element. And uh, here you can see this is the button text, which is available. So I can just simply launch my application and then I'll write that await, which is page dot. Let's write a locator or we can write with the uh, get by text also directly I can use a specific text here and then see this very simple simple use double click over here and that's it okay let's use this particular double click and then it will click on it so let's see is it really working or not so here you can see it's launching the application and see did you notice it actually double clicked and then immediately it handled the alert JavaScript. I mean, JavaScript alert pop-up was coming immediately. It got handled. See, I'm going to run it again. And then you observe immediately after double click, the pop-up will be appeared and immediately it will be handled. Did you notice it's gone now? So we don't need to switch to that particular alert here in Playwright. That's a good uh, thing here. Now we will do the right click. Also, we will uh, do that. So for the right click again, this is the text that I can use it. So right click means a context click. Remember, if someone is asking you, how will you perform a context click? Context click means they're talking about the right click. So here, right click means simple double tap from the mouse. We have to do it here. And then any of the option we can select from there. So I'll do one thing. So this is a double click we have seen. Now I'll show you that how to perform a right click or I can say a context click also. We can say that. So let's quickly write that page dot get by uh, text that I'm going to use it. And the text of that element is this. And then I'm going to do what? Then I'm going to perform a click over here and see for the click here, what do you have to? You can see multiple options which are available here. And then some of the options that they have given right click or shift click modifiers also we can do it here. So what we have to do here is that with the click, you just need to supply that what exactly it is, a button. And then here, we have to write what kind of operation, mouse operation you want to perform. So here I'm going to write simple right over here and that's it. So this is called right click on this particular element and that's it. So you can see 
This is called right click, which is performing here, right? So number of options are available with this particular click options. You can do right click, left click, and the middle click also. If you're having a mouse with right, left, and middle uh, buttons on your mouse, any of them, you can perform it here. So we are going to use button with the right button on the mouse. We have to perform it here. So let's see, is it really working or not? So I'm going to run it again. Okay. First, it will click on double click. And then can you see right click is happening and right click on this particular element. After that, whatever the element you want to select, you can select it over here. Perfect. So this is also fine that we can do it over here. So right click is also done. So now we will see what the next thing that we are going to talk about the shift click. It means you click on a specific element, let's see on this particular link with the shift. So just simply press shift and then with the mouse or click on it. So it will open in a new window here like that. So can we do something like this with the playwright? Of course we can do that, but we have to use this particular URL now. So I'll do one thing. I just simply come back here and then I'm again, I'm writing await dot or await page dot go to, and then go to this particular URL. And after launching this URL, then again, I'm writing what? I want to do a shift click on this particular element. So let's do it here. I simply write page dot get by text, get by text method. The text of that particular element is this. And then see this carefully. We have to use a dot click operation, but with the modifiers. So how to use uh, the modifiers? So you have to use these two curly braces as a modifiers object as a, you have to pass here. You can see modifiers. And then we have to supply shift over here. So I simply write modifiers like this. And then here in the double quote shift that you have to supply as capital over here like this. It means I want to perform the shift click on that particular element here. And I'll do one thing after each and every uh, click. Let's put some weight here. Let's put some around three seconds of weight. And then after a context click also, let's put around three seconds of weight. And then shift click also, uh, let's put around three seconds of wait. And then finally browser is closed here, right? So that we can see it properly what is happening in my test. So let's run it again and let's see. So browser is launched first time that normal right click. And then the context click is also done. Right click is also done. And then after that, it will launch the new application. And after launching a new application, can you see shift click is happening? It's opening in a new window. And then finally browser is closed here. So like this also we can simply do it like this. So shift click is also possible here. In the last session we have already discussed about that, how to perform a mouse over. So mouse over, how will you perform this? So here I'm writing over and then you have to click on it. So if you remember that we have already uh, covered in the last chapter, so I can just simply go to spicejet.com and then go to the men menu item add-ons and click on visa services. So here I'm talking about, let's combine all of them together to mouse over on add-ons and let's see, click on a visa services here or taxi here or whatever, right? So this is what we have to do. So we have to perform mouse over and then click on it. Simple. So let's quickly do this thing also. So I'll just uh, copy paste this one. This is the URL mouse over. You have to use it. So get by text add on click on hover. There are actually two add-ons text available. So I'm right saying that you go to the first element and then hover mouse. And then uh, after that, whatever the first visa service is available, click on it. So this is a simple normal click and with this is mouse over here. So let's see how exactly it is working or not. So right click on it and run test in the current file. One by one, all my test cases will be running here. Okay, now after three seconds, right click. This is also fine. Then after three seconds, it will perform the shift click. Shift click is also working fine here. Then after that, it's going to the spicejet.com add-ons and clicking on visa services. And then visa services page is coming over here and then browser is closed. And my test is absolutely working fine. So syntax wise, if you see, it's very, very straightforward and a very simple syntax. You don't need to unnecessary create the object of any specific class or anything just simple one methods are available simple methods are available and then you can directly use it here for normal click you just simply use a normal dot click for double click dbl click for uh, right click or the context click you have to supply a button with the right medium or left you can supply it over here as an object in the click method you have to supply here 
with the shift click as a modifier key that you have to supply modifier is shift key on that particular element and then mouse over simple dot over method is available and then after that you have to do a click on it and that's it so very straightforward i hope you understood let me know in case of any issues i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all